the card over over in the UK was I thought it was entertaining. A lot of those a lot of those fights. Um, like we talked to Amanda with the the Bridges and, and Courtney fight. They they threw the entire the entire fight like yeah. from from beginning to end. So that, that was fun. Um, and then um, Savannah Marshall get, gets the win there as well. Big mm-hmm. stoppage and mm-hmm. and they did. Okay. Doing a lot of talking, Clarissa Shields way. Yeah, and then that af- afterwards was the Eddie Eddie Hearn uh, trying to talk of the Clarissa Shields fight, and she obviously responds on Twitter. But and then Connor Ben, he <laughs> blew the doors off <laughs> Samuel Vargas, like yeah. from, from Jump Street. What did you think of the stoppage? Uh, I I thought it, it that was what I expected. You know, quote. Let me let me not say that. Um. I knew that Vargas wasn't was just going to be the guy that kind of he was the opponent. Yeah. And so with that being said, it was I this so this is my second time seeing Connor Ben, first time uh Formella, his fight against um Sebastian Formella. V- very good boxer. Um, you know, picks his punches very well, uh, good pace, things like that. Um, but with this guy and Vargas is like you brought an opponent in so that you could look the way that you looked. And there's no knock. It's just yeah. that, you know, it's only so much you can take from that fight. You know, um, I felt I uh, feel a lot different about Jerron Ennis's fight. I, and I know we'll get there, mm-hmm. but I just felt like there were those were two different types of opponents that came into the ring uh, yesterday. I think they were probably I think they were probably hoping for something similar to what Lippin Yetz did, where he was there for a while because mm-hmm. Vargas was a pretty durable guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think. Ortiz. Yeah, I think that was going to be the hope was that he was just going to be there and kind of stick around. And, and Connor Ben obviously kind of have a little bit of a showcase, but um, man, he he blasted him out of there expeditiously. <laughs> and now people want to see him fight Amir Khan or Sean Porter. Sean Porter, right? yeah, Tell Brooke. yeah. I don't know, Connor Ben. It he's really good. I think he's really talented. I don't think he's ready for you or Errol or Bud. I don't hate like an Amir Khan or Kel Brook fight. I don't think they would take that fight though. I don't think it makes any sense for them. The one, one fight that was interesting. Let me know if you're feeling this one, Sean, both Sean's. What about Adrian Broner? That makes Adrian. So I think it's the same for all three of those guys. Sean, I'll let you answer first. Go ahead. No, I don't think that. Well, I don't know. It's all, you know, it's a business. If they can make it worth Adrian's pocketbook over there in England, then, you know, that's a start to it. But I don't think Adrian's looking to fight guys like that. I think I think a fight maybe with uh, Keith Thurman would make more sense for Adrian Broner right now. Get a guy like Keith who has a name. They both lost. Um, well, A.V. had this, a fight in between now and then, but they both lost recently to Manny Pacquiao. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, A.B. was very adamant after the fight and in, in talking about how he didn't get dropped the way Keith Thurman did. So I think that's more the type of fight. I think I think A.B. would rather fight Amir Khan and Amir Khan would probably be would rather fight A.B. Adrian than Brown. Yeah. yeah. Who, who do you think who do you think might be realistic for Ben? I know Evanesian or Evanesian is is a guy that yeah. they kind of threw around European champion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not too many names really come to mind because guys like Jamal James are on the PBC side. That would mm-hmm. maybe be a good fight for him. Jose Cito Lopez on the PBC side. So mm-hmm. um, he'd have to venture over here and, and probably fight one of Al's guys to get a, to get the kind of match he needs next. He's a fiery dude, Connor Ben. Yeah. Like he was, he was like, there were some times I think Eddie Hearn was joking and he was like, Kind of, he was he was fired up. I liked him though. I think he I think he's good, and I think he's got the pedigree. Obviously, with his dad being you know a legend over there, I That's think. Warrior. Yeah, I, I think he has that. He clearly has that spirit. And I think he's talented. I'm um, just gonna be a matter of kind of in a similar vein, like Sean. So we'll get the boots, but he's kind of in a similar pattern where it's like Virgil mm-hmm. Ortiz boots and Connor kind of, Ben. I think those two are comfortably better, but yeah. they're both trying to find the next step that is a step rather than just exactly. somebody where it's the same. Exactly. Well, can, you know, Britain has its guy to be in the mix. Yeah. You know, the last decade, it was <laughs> Khan and Brooke to be in the mix with our American fighters at welterweight. Looks like they found their guy. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I hope, I hope it just... won't be any of those three guys. It won't be Adrian Browner. It won't be Kilbrook. It won't be Mir Khan. Um, 
none of those three guys that I just named are fighters who came into this sport um, with with any expectation to do anything less than what they did. They all expected to do great things in the sport, and they all did. Um, but they've all come into the come to the point now where they are not the same fighter, uh, but they aren't willing to bow down to that. Uh, none of those three fighters want to be a gatekeeper. And once you sign the dotted line to fight uh, Connor Ben, now you've basically declared that you are a gatekeeper because nobody's going to expect you to beat Connor Ben. Everybody's going to expect that to be the the name or the fight to put him over the top. And none of those guys, especially Adrian Bronner, want to be in that position or going to put themselves in that position. I don't I can't see I well, you know, I don't know any of their pockets, so I, I don't know what amount of money um, uh, Eddie Hearn could offer either either three of those guys um, to be to 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 sign on the dotted line. But I don't see it. ever. I don't see it happening. Uh, I I know my name was said after the fight and that's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, I'm at a point where, uh, I've been down the road he's been at, um, he's got 14 fights now, 15, maybe, um, I've got 30, 34 fights. Um, 35, 35, 35, 36. It's 35. I think you're 31, three and one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 35. Yeah. So, um, yes. With that view, <laughs> everybody, Julio, everybody Julio crazy. Diaz is doing well. He is, he is, he is. is. He? I'm happy yeah. to hear that. He, every, it's crazy because uh, every, nobody knows what the who, who the draw is. Yeah, it's just like it's just yeah, in there. 31, 3, and 1, and everybody's like, what's the one mean? Yeah, just kind of brush past it. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody's like, what's the one mean? You know, when you were so, running that down, uh, when you were talking about Amir, Kel, and, and AB not wanting to be gatekeeper, I was going to say, you're in the similar status. Like, it's yeah. just you're not there right now yeah. and probably will never be there. And, and I'll speak for myself. I'll speak for um, Keith Thurman. I'll speak for uh, EJ, Errol Spence Jr. I'll speak for Danny, probably even Danny Garcia. We're at a level now where we don't look behind us. If I have to search your name, if I have to figure out who you are, where you come from, and then I have to say, oh, you're Nigel Ben's son. That's that's how that's more than likely how after only 14, 15 fights, you're you're as relevant as you are. I you're not on my level. Guys are on my level. I don't have to search. I don't have to figure out who's who. We know who's who's are, you know. So when you got a guy like Connor Ben saying, Oh, yeah, I fight Sean Porter, I'm saying, Why why would I fight you? Why would I give you an opportunity to become any more than you are right now. You, to me, you you only have fourteen or fifteen 18. fights. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh well, that's all disrespect for me. It's not. Uh, you're not. <laughs> fifteen to eighteen isn't drastically different. But it's not. But that's but all. Eighteen and zero. Me. He's Shout eighteen out. and zero. And so when you're eighteen and zero, you 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 still have to continue to try to grow and get better. And the best thing I could do right now at thirty three is just kind of put myself in that situation where I, when I was 18 and 0 and I know we talked about this before but my my 33 year old self would beat my uh 18 and 0 self because when I'm at 33 I know more I'm better I'm stronger the, the, and the list goes on and so it's just one of those things as hindsight you never know until you get there yeah uh, guys like Eddie Hearn who's looking for this kid to be great and to get that big name and all that kind of stuff. He's saying other people's names. So, so I, I, and I read into this yesterday, you say Sean Porter's name, but then you, and then you revert back to Amir Khan and Kell Brook. You said my name. So everybody would, would look up off of their phones and say, Oh, he said Sean Porter. Yeah. I want to fight Showtime Sean Porter. And then now you have my attention. Not now you have my attention. You're going to feed me Amir Khan. So now, now I want to see you against Amir Khan, you know? So yeah. I, I read into that too, you know? So uh, I didn't, I don't take any, um, per, I don't take it personal or anything like that. I think it's a part of the game. Yeah. And, uh, and I was there once upon a time ago. So, you know, one uh, difference here is if Khan and Brook aren't going to fight each other, though, and, and one difference between Khan and Brook when it comes to Ben and an Adrian Broner, and to get even further out, someone like you or, or Keith Thurman or something like that, is there's actual economic interest in England in making those fights for yeah. Khan. So if Khan yeah. and Brook aren't going to fight each other and they're not doing any kind of title shot, then maybe why not give this kid an opportunity if there's some money into it? Yeah. And it's a credit to Ben that 
the reason why not is because he's dangerous. There's a good shot he can win the fight by yeah. knockout. So yeah. Yeah. I was uh just and because I know I know somebody gonna give me some heat for this. And I, I said he was 14 and 0. And then I even said that he was 15 and 0. And this is my point. I'm texting a guy who's over there in the UK, a guy who has no reason not to root for his his fellow UK fighter. But the guy is like, yo, he's saying your name. He's saying Earl Spence Jr.'s name. He's not ready for those guys. He's 14 and 0. I just read the message. He's 14 and 0 now. So he threw that Bad information. At me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I get on the podcast like, yeah, he's only 14 and 0. But that again, that came from a guy who's over there. If the guy over there does not know exactly what your record is and, and who you fought and things like that, you're not ready for the big show yet. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's no disrespect, you know. It's just, you gotta, you gotta pay your dues, and you, you gotta, you know. And 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 even with that being said, everybody is starting to find a different path to the belts. Uh, we're seeing Ennis. We saw Tiafima Lopez do it. Uh, was that late last year? Now, late yeah. last year that he won that fight against um, Lomachenko. We're starting to see guys uh, trailblaze this thing a different way, which is amazing. I'm happy for that. But sitting where I'm sitting at. Nah, I'll pass. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw because I know you did what you need to do now. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday, something new for you right here on the Port Away Podcast.